Hey there, I'm Jen Eads, the head broad in charge at the Brassy Broadcasting Company. Let's talk about how to fix that really annoying, uneven volume level between you and your podcast guest. Because I can tell you, as a listener, there's nothing that I find more annoying than when I'm trying to listen to a podcast and I constantly have to fiddle with the volume on it. I'm going to walk you through how to use a really simple tool called Auphonic, A-U-P-H-O-N-I-C dot com. I'll have a link to it in the video description. What I love about Auphonic is that it makes it easy for new podcasters or even the seasoned but not so super tech savvy podcasters. It makes it easy for them to create a consistent volume level throughout their entire podcast episode. So let's take a look. Here we are in Adobe Audition, and you can tell by looking at this track that this section here is going to be louder than this smaller section right here. As a listener, that's going to be super annoying to listen to because I'm going to have to adjust the volume. So what we're going to do is go to Auphonic.com. We're going to open this up. If you don't have an account, sign up for a free account. The great thing about Auphonic is that you get up to two hours a month for free on the free account. And to get started on your production, go up here, click on Productions, and New Production. And I need to upload the file of my recording. So I'm going to go to Choose File, and I'm going to select the recording that I just showed you. And you can see here, when you look at current file, it shows that I imported the audio track. We aren't going to worry about intro and outro or basic metadata right now. We're going to come down here to output files. And we are going to change this to WAVE 16-bit. I'm using 16-bit in Adobe Audition. I want to make sure that I keep that consistent. I also want to pick WAVE versus MP3 because the WAVE version is the uncompressed version and we want to use the uncompressed version for this. And now we're going to go down to the audio algorithms. And for the time being, if you are new to this, I'm going to suggest that you just go with their auto selections. So adaptive leveler is checked, filtering is checked, loudness normalization. And I'm also going to tick the box for noise and hum reduction. So if I've got some background noise in there that I need to get rid of, it will also do that while leveling the sound. Now we come to loudness target and it's set to minus 16 luffs. That is an ideal setting. You can click the drop down arrow and see more, but for podcast and mobile, that's the one that it actually defaults to. And reduction amount, we're just gonna leave that at auto for the time being and then start production. Auphonic has a lot of information and tutorials available on their website that are really helpful if you're new to podcasting and audio production. And I want to know what other podcasting tech questions do you have? Leave them in the comments section and your question might get answered in my next video. One of the cool things about Auphonic is that it shows you a before and after. So if we look down here at the input, this is what our original audio file was that we started with and the output up here is what it is now. So let's play it and give it a listen. Hey, this is Jen at a normal speaking volume recording a podcast. And this is Jen being super quiet so that I can demonstrate to you how Auphonic is going to level out the sound between normal speaking, regular podcast Jen and super quiet Jen. And you can hear when we play that back that Alphonic did its job. Yes, the one section is still a little bit quieter, but there is a lot less disparity between the loud and the soft sections of the recording. And then when you're done, you just download the file and then open your podcast production back up and drag the new file in and we'll be able to see the difference. Let's play these two sections and compare. Here's the original. And this is Jen being super quiet. And here's the Auphonic version. And this is Jen being super quiet so that I can demonstrate to you how Auphonic is going to level out the sound between normal speaking, regular podcast Jen. And there you have it. Auphonic did a really nice job of leveling that out. Now we've created a much better listening experience for your audience. This is why I love Auphonic, especially for new podcasters and not-so-techie podcasters. 
Remember to leave your podcasting questions in the comments and check out my podcasting tips, tools, and process playlist for more ways to improve your podcasting skills. Subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so that you get notified when I post new videos. And most importantly, share this channel with your podcasting friends that could use a little help. Happy podcasting!